Valencia has become an iconic city associated with the America's Cup and Grand Prix sailing. And in the America's Cup harbour, a new Grand Prix fleet is assembled. It is great and it has special significance for all the sailors that uh, during the uh, period between 2004 5 to 2007, we were all living here and uh, participating in the America's Cup. So for all of us, it's like, in some ways, getting back to a familiar place, getting back home. And uh, that's, that, that's the sentimental part of the story. But then on the practical side, you got the boats in this beautiful setup. And then suddenly you uh, moor off, go out, uh, motor for uh, three minutes, put your mainsail up and you're racing. And the racing is just in front of the beaches. People can see it from the shore. It's, it's difficult to improve. All season, the TP52 fleet races in the Audi Med Cup, a five regatta circuit that moves around Europe. It concluded just a week before the World Championship, where Emirates Team New Zealand were crowned champions. But now, the focus is on the World Championship. One event, up to ten races and nine boats. Many of the Med Cup fleet are taking part, but there are new boats and new faces too. Having finished second on the Audi Med Cup, Quantum Racing are coming in as favorites. Yeah, well, how do you approach this? Is This is a one-hit wonder. It's not about the uh, 60 races that we have in the Audi Med Cup, uh, the, or the 50 races. This is about 10 races and making sure at the end you have an opportunity to win. Um, so you approach it that way, and then with our competition, because we're sailing against some different teams here that we don't see a lot, you play things slightly safer relative to them and uh, minimize and mitigate the risk. Winning the final event of the Audi Med Cup, Argentina's Matador are on a roll. We are just here to do it the best we can and, and try, try to be one of the contenders to the title till the very end. So we are he, here trying to give, give our best and hopefully still have chances on the last two days where, it, where everything counts. The Russians are here too with a new skipper, Eugenie Nugodnikov. I wanted to sail here before, but I started to sail with Synergy in Young Match Race team. Before I sailed all-time match race. And uh, now they changed the helmsman and they invite me to try. The new faces are both British teams, both boats stacked with talent. It's early days in, in, you know, in terms of my sailing on TPs, but uh, really exciting and, and great to be out there with uh, some of the best sailors in the world. And uh, that's, that's a rare treat. You can't, uh, you can't get that in many sports so, uh, as, a, as a relative newcomer. So that's very exciting. As the fleet lined up for the first time in Valencia, it was a seasoned professionals Artemis and Matador who got a good start. But leading out of the blocks and continuing their run of form, quantum racing. American Terry Hutchinson on the helm. And he steered Quantum Racing round the top mark first. With the German team, Audi A1, powered by All for One in second. Guillermo Parada's Matador were in the hunt coming into the finish. But it was Terry Hutchinson's men on board Quantum who crossed the line first. But the next two races of the day would tell a different story. The Russian entry Synergy found good boat speed and started to dominate. At the end of the long Audi Med Cup season, the Russian team changed several of the crew, including the helm. Having established himself on the world match racing tour, Eugenie Nugodnikov stepped in and immediately made an impression. New to this fleet, but not phased. Nugodnikov steered Synergy to consecutive victories. Yeah, we got a fifth in the first race and then we got two firsts in the second and third race. So we were, uh, uh, we're over the moon. It's um, obviously the best day we've had this season and uh, the guys have been improving all year and it was uh, nice for it to come together in the last regatta of the year. The favourites, Quantum, finished the day in second behind Synergy. Our goal for the day was to come out of it with nine points or less, and we achieved that by two points. And uh, 
you know, we were pretty safe and pretty conservative all the way around the race course. It was a little bit disappointing in the middle race. We had a, uh, everything was going fine. We're going downwind and for about 30 seconds, somebody took their eye off a matador and that was basically all it took and they jumped us and rolled us. So that was the difference really between being in the lead at the bottom or uh, being in third. And uh, we battled from there and yeah, I mean, I, I think all in all, it was a really good day. It's a nice way to start the regatta. The TP52 class is big news right now, with new boat announcements and rumors on the dockside. Nicholas Zenstrom made his name by inventing Skype. He's in Valencia to sail with Christabella and is building a new boat for the 2011 season. Well, I'm here at the TP52 World Championship to really to, to, uh, to visit and to, to learn more about the TP52 circuit because we made a decision with the team to uh, enter the Med Cup for next year. I've been watching the, the circuit and it seems to be the best, best racing you can get for the moment. It's a very competitive fleet, very competitive team, very well organized uh, racing and, and, and management. So that's really the attraction. I think the decision of racing the America's Cup in Malte Hals is going to be, uh, it could hurt us a little bit next year because we will lose some teams, but in the midterm it's going to be very, very beneficial to the Audi Med Cup circuit and to the TP52 class because, uh, as we said before, it's, it's going to become the reference in monohull sailing, the, the highest level, so people will be long time still attached to the monohull and uh, who aim for the highest that you can do in the monohull, this, this will be the ground.